All right, so next we're gonna look at our magnetic lasso tools. So this particular tool really helps us out in situations where we have edges that have nice contrast or detail. So once again, you can right click on your lasso tool panel here and choose the magnetic lasso tool. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. And let's say here that we see there's a nice contrast between the black and the yellow in this particular uh, road sign. So I'm going to zoom back a little bit more. And so let's say I want to select just uh, the interior of this sign here. So what you have to do is simply click to set an anchor point, but then you just have to move your cursor along the edge. So you click and you hold on to your mouse. And I'm simply here dragging. And Photoshop is kind of smart enough to figure out that this is only the selection that I'm looking for. So if you go slowly enough, this can work magic sometimes. So once again, it's good for these uh, situations where you have really an, uh, an object maybe that is really different from the background. The color really stands out, for example, and there's a nice little contrast here. So here I'm almost done. Keep going. And once you've finished your loop, Okay, you can simply click, and here you go, I have my selection. Now let's say I'm happy with that selection, I want to make an adjustment, I could go into image for example, I uh, could put a, ba a bit of uh, saturation into this part of the uh, sign, so saturating, the, saturating this a little bit, you can see here the before and the after, or a little bit more even, hue, and here you can see I can change the color, the saturation and so forth. Right? So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to deselect Control D. And next, let's have a look at the Magic Wand tool. So I've got the Magic Wand tool selected here. So after having selected the Magic Wand tool, you'll need to double check in the options bar. So you have the sample size here, which tells you the color that the Magic Wand tool will sample from your image. So the higher the resolution of your image, the higher the average you'll want. So here I think 11 by 11 is pretty good. And my tolerance, 32, would be okay for now. So I'm going to click on a color, so in this case yellow. And as you can see, what this tool m basically did is simply choose uh, all the yellow color that was around. So you can see that it didn't choose the black that is inside, it only chose the yellow. If I want to add to a selection, I can simply hold down to shift, I'm going to go back to my magic wand tool, hold down to shift, and simply click and drag around. Alright, so this looks pretty good here. So you can see how this works, it's pretty quick. So I'm going to deselect, control D. Okay, next thing I'd like to do would be to look at the Quick Select tool. So the Quick Select tool is a great way to really make a quick selection. So once again, I'm going to go to this image here. I'm going to zoom in back again. And I'm going to simply, using my Quick Select tool, click here, and then you can drag. So right now, it was very quick. Photoshop basically saw that what I wanted was perhaps uh, using this whole road sign here. So using this quick selection tool by holding on to your mouse and sim simply dragging around Photoshop will increase the selection around an area. So if we zoom in a bit more so you can see here the outer edge of this road sign is not chosen yet so I'm simply gonna click and drag to add to my selection go. So here I'm simply adding to my selection. Hold down the spacebar key to simply move around. And I'm going to add here. So here I'm chosen too much. So I'm simply going to hold down to Alt. Click and drag to deselect. Okay. Alright, so pretty happy with that. And Next thing we'll do is 
maybe increase the hue or saturation once again just to give an example so saturation will desaturate becomes black and white or will increase the hue to change the color okay, we'll cancel that once again all right so so far we've looked at the rectangular marquee tool the elliptical marquee tool our three different lasso tools and the magic wand and the quick select tools so that's already a lot of selections tools here that we have but the last one is a pretty nice one that will allow you to select based on color so the last image we have here is a tree with a background a uh, nice blue sky here and let's say I really like this image but I'm not too happy about the sky I think the sky is a little bit too maybe a little bit too light I want to darken that up so how can I simply choose the sky and not select the tree at all and then darken up that sky well if you click on select and color range color range will be able to do just that so here you can see by simply clicking on the blue of my sky um, here only the blue has been chosen let's say I want to do the opposite I want to choose the leaves on that tree well instead of clicking on the blue sky I could click on one of these leaves and then suddenly you see I have a couple of the leaves chosen and if you click more and more by clicking on the add button here add the sample it will simply add more and more to this uh, selection so here I've chosen too much I'm gonna click subtract I'm gonna subtract this here okay, so I don't want to have this okay so this looks pretty good I've only chosen the leaves so pretty good I'm gonna click OK right now you can see all of these marching ants let's say I wanna uh, saturate this a little bit I'm gonna go into my image adjustments hue saturation and I'm gonna bump this up a little bit click OK Control D to deselect and here you go I have a nice uh, saturation in here on these uh, leaves and now let's say I want to darken up this uh, sky well once again select color range this time click on the blue sky OK and simply go into image adjustments brightness will decrease the brightness and here our sky is a bit darker so OK Control D to deselect and now we have a darker sky with some brighter more saturated leaves so we have some really saturated colors in here alright guys so this was a really quick overview of uh, the selection tools that we have in Photoshop now Photoshop is a very complicated program and obviously we have covered a lot here in this short video but the point was simply to introduce you to these selection tools so that you could know maybe have an idea of the possibilities that you have when working with these so don't worry uh, if I've covered this too quickly um, I will have videos available here on YouTube for each individual selection tool available on Photoshop so visit my channel take a look at the videos I have here on my uh, channel on YouTube and if this was useful to you in any way this video well please rate comment and subscribe so it's really appreciated alright thanks guy and see you in my next video